and welcome to Tools to Create a Better Life with myself, Glenice Hughes. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you. How expectations are killing your business. Yes. First off though, I would love to invite you to go and download my free guidebook, The Ultimate Confidence in Business Guidebook. Five tools to assist you to be the confidence you truly be that will allow you to create the profit and live the life you truly desire. So you'll find the link above or below. If you don't see it, reach out and I will get it to you. For those of you listening to this as a podcast, it is in the show notes. You can either get them on my webpage, glennysuse.com under radio show, or you can be on my email list and you receive them sent to you every Sunday as if by magic. So how expectations are killing your business from the business done different joy of business class that I am facilitating in London, England, or you can join us online October 28th, 29th and 30th, 2022. If you are listening to this or watching this later, you can check out the link above or below because all of my classes um, are listed there. I have these coming up all the time. So, No expectations in business. That's the topic here in the manual. And it says, look at all the places you go to expectation of you or somebody else and the projections of what it should be or what it shouldn't be. What does that create? What's the value of creating separation? The judgment? Yeah. So if you've been around here for a while, you've heard me talk about my reminder app and I have a reminder that goes off every day that invites me to clear all of my expectations of the business and of money. And this is a fairly recent ad. I've probably only been clearing them, say, for the past month, like from the reminder app, which means that I'm doing it every day rather than just kind of hickledy pickledy, as you might say in England. Um, Actually, maybe not just England, but that's one of my husband's phrases and I never heard it until I met him. So, um, and, and so doing it really cognitively every day for a while now, it's really brought to light how many expectations that I have, not just of me or other people, but actually the expectations I have of the business. And in my case, the businesses, because I have a few different ones. And then also the expectations that I have of money. What? Like what an interesting thing to put an expectation on or probably honestly, multiple expectations. So all of the expectations that you have of your business or businesses and of money, will you destroy and uncreate all those times a godzillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, box, shorts, boys, po, bads, and beyond. So I do that every day. I clear that every day just to be in the habit of clearing them. But also what I find it helps me out is throughout the day when I'm doing the expecting, I can start to become aware of it. I can start to go, oh, wow, interesting. Okay, I just expected that putting that post on Facebook would do this or uh, putting this class here would do this or all of that instead of going from question, like from no expectation, just from, hey, will putting this post on, on Facebook create the future I desire or decay the future I desire? If it's gonna create it, then put it on, but don't have an expectation. Because often we go, let's say we have the awareness, we have a hit to make this post on Facebook. So we do it. But energetically, there's all of this, all of these expectations we're delivering. Oh, I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to have 10 people sign up for my class. Or I'm going to put this on Facebook and then people are going to ask me about my product or like all of these things rather than, hey, it's going to create the future I desire, whatever the heck that means, put it on Facebook. Like truly, that's the energy of living from no expectation. And then look at if if you're one that does it with money, like I talk about, this has been a thing for me, um, or become aware of it. It's probably been a thing for me for a long, long time. But like, what is that? What are those expectations of money? Yeah, 
right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, po beds, and beyonds. That is the clearing statement from Access Consciousness. If you're not familiar, you can go to theclearingstatement.com for more information about how it works. But basically, it just starts clearing away. As I'm talking about this stuff, you might notice it starts to get a bit heavy. You might get a little bit tired. You might maybe start fighting with me like, you don't know what you're talking about, Glennies. I have to expect of my staff. They won't know what to do otherwise. Like, that's where we want to be writing the clearing statement because even just look at your own life. When people expected something from you, did you choose to do it with like joy? <laughs> now maybe, maybe you're not like me, um, but boy oh boy, if, if somebody tells me to do something or has the expectation I'm gonna do something, I usually do the exact opposite, even if it's gonna create greater to do the thing. So what if we had no expectations of anybody ever, including ourselves? <sighs> right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, po beds, and beyond. So I just want to run a couple of these clearings here. So how many expectations did you wake up with this morning? And everything that doesn't allow you to perceive, know, be, and receive that. Will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, po beds, and beyonds. And how many of you are using judgment of you to stop you and slow you down so you can never, ever claim, own, acknowledge, the capacities and the brilliance that you be. Everything that is, we just turned on created all times a godzillion. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pock, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. And how many of you would rather the business fail than step into your potency to perceive, know, be, and receive what the business requires to exponentialize it? Ouch, right? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Like truly, if you had no expectations of you or the business or money or your classes or your creations or your staff or the people around you or your kids or your family or the earth or anything, how much more magic could you receive? How much more could you actually perceive and know and receive and be? Because energetically, those expectations are like a wall between you and that thing. So even just sticking with like the business, the expectations of the business, every expectation that you have of the business is putting up another wall between you and it, which makes it very difficult to commune with it, to, to hear it, to let it be the most magical business partner that it can be. Yeah, all right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Now, many of you heard me say this before, and it's one that I use all the time, but all of the DJCCs, pissers, and RJs that I have about this, whatever this is in that moment, I destroy and uncreate them all. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pet box, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. All of the decisions, judgments, conclusions, computations, projections, rejections, expectations, separations, Refined judgments, that's what that acronym is. I destroy and uncreate it all. So that you can start having that spaciousness of you. Because with all of those DJCCs, pisses, and RJs, those are all walls between you and the thing you're doing that to. And it could be another person, it could be yourself, it could be your business, it could be money, whatever it is. So the more that you clear that, the more you're going to be aware of, the more you're going to be aware of the infinite possibilities, the more magic you're going to be able to create with the business, the more magic that you're going to receive, and everything will start showing up with total ease and joy and glory without those walls and barriers. So everything that doesn't allow that will you destroy and uncreate at all times a gazillion? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, box, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Because what is truly possible with the business that you've never even considered? Yes. Again, if you would like, go and grab my free gift for you, the ultimate confidence in business, which is a whole bunch of weird tools to really allow you to show up confidently, to be you in business that will then allow the profit to show up. Yes. Profit, my sweet friends. Uh, and then, of course, Business Done Different. Come and join me live, in person, wherever. I would so love to have you. Have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to chatting again next week.